day of uh, kind of house warming today. So I just dropped Tara off and. Um... <laughs> Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, I am Akanksha. So I am um, welcome to another vlog. Basically, I'm on my way to the airport. It's so dark, but it's freaking 5:30 in the morning. The sun did not even rise yet, but I have a 7 a.m. flight, and I'm determined to catch it. I don't know how I'll go, but it's 5:30, and uh, I I don't know why people take morning flights. But I had to wake up 4 o'clock for like a 7 o'clock flight, which I could easily take like a 10 o'clock one, but then. Um, They booked this, so I'm going to go in this. But yeah, I'm on the way to the airport. I am going to Chennai, by the way, with um, you know a brand. But then I have an NDA, so I can't really tell for what or something. I don't even think I can tell you like you know um, anything about like the event as well. But yeah, I'm on the way to Chennai, and I have like four five hours waiting before the event. So I thought I like plan vlog, like you know a solo trip for a mini solo trip or uh, something. I'm anyways coming back in the evening only. So let's go. I think I'll see the sunset today. It's been a while. Sorry, sunrise today. It's been a while. I saw a sunrise. I think years only years. Okay, just had a bath. I don't know why my nose is red, but I'm about to do my skincare, and I thought I'll show you what I, um, you know, I've been using lately. Something I actually tried recently, and I really like. So the first one being the Dermaco C Cinnamide Radiance Serum. Now this one is it's called C Cinnamide because it has vitamin C and niacinamide in it. It's a concoction of both both products, like both ingredients, niacinamide and vitamin C, are great to brighten your skin overall. So any pigmentations, any acne scars, anything you have. This Like a great combo, and it's not easy to generally stabilize niacinamide and vitamin C in a formula, but they've done it. So it has 10% vitamin C, you guys, and 5% niacinamide, which is great. It's a beautiful one for especially for like you know people like me who has a lot of blemishes, if you have pigmentation, etc. Because this is going to overall uh, brighten my skin. I just take like two pumps of it. You can see it's a very runny in texture, so it doesn't like you know sit on your skin or make it feel any heavy or anything. I'm just going to massage it in. It absorbs into your skin so easily. You can see it's like nice into the skin. It's giving me nice hydration as well. I am next going to go in with my moisturizer to lock that serum in. place then next i'm going to go in with my uh, sunscreen and lately i've been using this one the dermaco 1% hyaluronic uh, sunscreen aqua gel oh my god you know i how picky i am with my sunscreen right and i really love this one especially because like the way it sinks in your skin it's, it's a very creamy texture it looks heavy when you're looking at it but once you apply it and it gets absorbed into the skin it's so good like it's so lightweight one of those very few formulas i like it's like no matter how much i use it just like sinks into my skin very very well comedogenic so like really good for acne prone skin as well because it's not going to clog your pores it has hyaluronic acid so like hydrates your skin can you see like my skin looks so nice and healthy i absolutely like you know Love this combination lately. Like I've just been using this, and it's been working really well for me. Before we move on, I want to do this fun experiment of showing how actually good potent vitamin C is there in this serum. Okay, this is a betadine solution, and this is known to show the potency of vitamin C. I'm just going to pour this in a glass. Now it's known that a good potent vitamin C is going to turn this clear. What dude like this is crazy. Do you see the original color? It's like on the side of the glass is a little bit. Like this has turned like clear dude like. Like I mean that's proof. What else to say? So these are my two new favorites in my skincare. I've been really loving them. I I highly recommend them. They're great no matter what your skin type is. Again if you're interested then I will leave the link for these in the description. I also have a code I will I'll, I'll leave on the screen right here. You'll get a little bit of discount if you you know what a purchase and you can use that code. Also on Dobaco certain percentage of your order do goes towards a child's education which is great and they're determined to help 10,000 plus students uh, this year. <music> I just bought 
socks because it's so freaking cold early in the morning. I think that's the first time I'm taking a flight this early. For the first time, I think all my makeup I got just from the photo bag. But now you guys know I have this travel size bag, right? Where <laughs> like stuff everything I get, like my brushes, everything is this is so new for me because like look at how brushes and everything come like there inside. I just hope nobody walks into the washroom while I'm here because <laughs> it'll be a little embarrassing. <laughs> Hopefully grab lunch. I'm not that hungry, but you know, you gotta eat because it's lunch time. So. Crazy on the sunrise. I am on the way. Na sunrise, sunset. I do not approach this now. Only on the sky, matro. Cute. I'm also already back in Hyderabad. My trip was, I think, literally for two hours. I'm so stupid. It did not strike for me or for my dad that I should have just caught the car, like drove myself, parked it here, and uh, driven it back in the evening because I think fuel charges would have been the same as parking charges. Again, he came now to pick me up. So yeah, I think for the next time I should remember that if it's like a single day trip, I need to like put my car and go so that I can just like you know drive back. I mean, look at that sunset. Like it looks so pretty. Like the sky. Looks like I'm in Miami. <laughs> the palm trees and everything. Hello. 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 Hi, Chi. Do doggy. Do doggy. What's your name? Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Kitty. Dog mom duties. Got moon bag. Home now and finishing up some work. I'm so exhausted, but I have like two videos which need to go up like right now, and um, I'm finishing it up. It's so such a pain to go back and forth with the brands, especially when they have these minute changes. They come back with every time. It's like you have no energy to left to fight with them as well. Ha! <sighs> but yeah. I just need to finish this, and I think I'll just literally pass out. Though, like I'm so tired. I want to remove this makeup and all, but I'm just like waiting for these videos to get processed and export. Hopefully, I don't have to do another edit and they go live. Night with her. I'm going to. I will miss you, Mama. 
going to give her away tomorrow to her forever parents. I was just her temporary parent. I miss you so much, Mama. I miss you so much, Mama. But so I let her on the bed also. Like initially, when I got her for like the first two three days, I loved her. But she's not like toilet trained, so she peed on my bed, which was like you know a red flag. Yeah, I have to keep her on the floor. So like we would, I like she sleeps in her bed only. But like she's leaving tomorrow, and I want to like you know spend my last night with my baby. I just I made sure she peed and pooped before she got on the bed. So I know for another for four five hours she's not going to. Hello, <laughs> hi Lulu. Hi, cutie ma. No, I can't. I can't say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're having separation I know, more than her. He'll go? You'll have to lift her We've been thinking what the name for the last two days. You have no idea how excited we are. Baby. She'll kiss you very well, see? So I, for time being, I named her Tara. Whoa! That's so cute. She like she looks. She does meant um, to come to us. Yes. Yesterday I told her I want to name her Tara. Oh, that's oh so God. sweet. <laughs> so my dog is Moon, right? And I yeah. so I wanted like Moon oh and Star. So that's the reason I named her Tara. And like I gave it actually to one of my friend. I was supposed to give, and then I told him also to name her Tara. But like it didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, he just thought about Tara. Oh, she loves you already. <laughs> Look at her. She's licking her. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, I'll miss you, Mama. <laughs> She's okay. meant to be Tara. Miss you, Mama. Miss you, Mama. Yeah, yeah. We love you so much. We love you so much already. So I just dropped Tara off, and um, the dog is so special to me. And um, I just hope, like wherever she is, I hope she's happy. I wouldn't have been like do justice to keeping her. And she's a sweet, sweet little dog. And I'm so like grateful for her that I found her, and I found her a home. Um, and luckily, coincidentally, they also wanted to name her Tara, which I think is going to stay like you know be her name. It's also really nice, but I don't want to get emotional because um, I do want to keep doing this more. That I want to foster dogs and like get them a home. But if I get attached to the dog, it's so difficult. But yeah, Moon is also so attached to it, which is sad. So I'm just. Um, yeah, my parents also just reached. They went out. Okay, I want to give a little context of the clips that you're going to see after this. So I'm filming this like in a later time of day. But basically, I moved out, you guys. Like I basically, I am moving out. I got a home away from my parents. I feel like it's the time for me to like you know start like real adulthood, living by myself. You know, and everything. I also wanted to expand my like you know studio space, etc. Too. So that's the reason I started looking at places. And I thought I do not know how difficult it will actually be to find a place. I started my house hunting in November. Okay, like literally November 2022, and I got the house in Jan 2023. So it's been like three months of house hunting, and it's been so stressful, mainly because. So I used to live in Elbinagar and now I moved to Gachiwali. So it's literally like one one and a half hour drive, which is like a lot to come every time. Like I used to come two three days every week. So the first few months I did not find like a bigger space. I wanted a house which is bigger than the house I'm currently living in, my parents' house, because I did not want to downgrade. I wanted to like upgrade, and then that was like such a big task to get in like a good community and a good budget. So that did not happen, and I did not like a lot of houses initially. And then later I started liking, but they were again beyond my budget. And then later, I increased my budget because I was not uh, like you know finding anything in my budget. And that time, all the ones which I liked were gone. I was not, not finding anything. And then my dad came into picture in like end of December or something because I I liked one flat and I was about to finalize. And all the vastu and everything had come in place. So I missed out on so many good good flats, like really 
beautifully interior wise etc like how my house we've done right like same like that we've had like so many options but then they were not according to the vastu and my parents do believe a lot in vastu and i kind of do as well and i did want to respect for like you know what they believe as well so i like you know missed out on so many houses and i was not finding anything it's so stupid how these houses are built like i don't know how such big builders also if they build these things if then i don't know how the vast thing is working when it's coming to like big gated communities even though the main door is like not proper proper this there's one balcony right here which kind of balances out apparently so this is the house i found finally and uh, i have so much to rant like you know if i've spoken so much because i have so much to say because i know how stressed i was because imagine working so much i had so much work in november and december but i had to still come every day to house hunt like drive one and a half hour search houses go back two to three times every week and still work it is quite stressful for me and it was always stressful because it has been like you know um on hold for so long since november imagine i wanted to move like first week of december only i thought i'll find the houses like this but like that didn't happen so anyways i finally found the house you guys and i'm the next picture you'll be seeing me going to like sign the agreement and everything uh, uh so yeah i'm so excited i'm i'm also already in the house you must have seen the tour by now anyways but um can't believe this is what i'll be doing it's just going to be me and moon and me it's he's already enjoying his uh, little new space balcony look at him he loves his new balcony oh i love it i wanted a nice balcony like you know full busy place because for me it will be time pass you can just like sit and watch and he's doing literally just that didn't sign the agreement on the it got a little paused because there was no printing done so my dad and i came for another shopping let's see to get all these visas <laughs> After a lot, a lot, a lot of months of hunting and weeks of hunting, finally, my dad and I are going to sign the agreement for a house that I'm going to take. Got the keys. So successfully, na dad. It's celebratory for some for signing <laughs> the agreement. Actually, I do not have anything else, and I'm very hungry, and I want to go home and don't stop anywhere else. Moon's entering his new house for the first time. Hello, ma. You're in your new house. Go crazy. This is your new house, Moon. Ah, get the balcony, ma. Come, get up. Okay, back to the day of uh, kind of house warming today. So I'm not going to move uh, in another one week for sure because I have so many things doing. But today is like a good day. It's 26th of uh, January. Um, actually, a lot of things got delayed also because there was like no good morat for like so long in so many days. So, um, so a lot of things got pushed because of that as well. And anyways, today finally after like one month is like a good day. So I uh, today we are doing the house warming ceremony kind of thing. Moon and I are here. Um, I'm waiting for my parents to come so that we can do. And yeah, I'm like, I can't believe, I can't believe, I it's finally happening. Like this house has such big, like amazing lighting. I can't even like explain. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Like even with a white wall, this ventilation is just. Mom, this is going to be a new house from now on, Mamulu. Mamulu, you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? I have to give him a bath. He's so dirty. <laughs> I like that my balcony, my bedroom also has a balcony. My hall also has a balcony. You must have seen this kitchen in the uh, tour. This is the massive one. I don't know when I'll use it because I don't know cooking. 
I should at least start learning for it. మీ <laughs> 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 but anyways i'm back home um long day dude like long day like i can't believe i have a house dude it's my my friends also saw my house today uh, oh he does not want to let me play like we film the video oh my god getting this house now that it's final a big stress is off my head it's been on my mind for so long oh my god um it's coffee stressful time i just can't like tell you <laughs> Ah, fine is done because these two three two three things in my life have been on a hold for like so many months now and things when things get on hold it's so irritating when it's like it's not done you want to get it done and get over with right looks like, so those things are like that and this was one of the house was one of the biggest things so i finally have it though i have a house um, i have now it's actually is just beginning to now decorate this house move get used to a new life etc will be like another task but i'm excited for Eight, but I thought I'll like end this vlog right here. Tomorrow is the Sangeet. I'll probably vlog the Sangeet as well. I wanna make vlogging a thing now. So this video shout out goes to Sunidhi Kumari. Thank you, Sunidhi, for always loving and supporting. If you wanna be part of this next video shout out, then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag #AKS and you can be a part. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. If you are interested in checking Dermaco products, then definitely use my code AK twenty twenty three to get a discount. Mm -hmm.